whether it is basketball dreams, family fiascos, first crushes, or new neighborhoods. These stories, written by 10 award-winning and best-selling diverse authors, celebrate the uniqueness in us all. For First Chapter Friday, here is a look at the short story collection, Flying Lessons and Other Stories, edited by Ellen O. With today's selection from How to Transform an Everyday Ordinary Hoop Court into a Place of Higher Learning and You at the Podium by Matt De La Pena. It's finally summer. Go ahead, take a deep breath. You're free. All year long, your mom's has been on you like glue about algebra worksheets and science fair projects and the knee-high stack of books Mrs. Baker assigned for English class. And you did what you had to do, two A's and four B's. Truth is, you're actually pretty smart. School comes easy. You told Baker in that end of the year five page paper what was up with Esperanza's dreams and the symbolism of the Mango Street House. And you pulled down a 96%, second highest grade in the class. But even as you typed out that essay, you had an indoor outdoor in your lap. Between sentences, you daydreamed finger rolls over outstretched hands. See, here's what all the hardcore homework pushers don't get. For people like you, ball is more than just ball. It's a way out. A path to those tree-lined lives they always show on TV. You've crunched the numbers and read the tea leaves. Fact is, you'll never hit the books as hard as boy genius Jeremiah Villa. Sylvia Diaz, either. Even your boy Francisco from down the hall. There are folks in this world who live to mark up a fat world history textbook with an arsenal of colored highlighters. You're not one of them. You spend too much time on back alley ball handling drills to compete. Nah, the game of basketball is your best chance. The fate of your hoop development. For the past three years, you've spent every free minute balling at an outdoor court down the street from your building. After school, after games, weekends, you name it. Most nights, you're still out there putting up shots, alone, when the sun falls behind the ocean and the automatic park lights come flickering on, spilling that strange yellow half light across the cracked concrete. Ball is like anything else. Put in enough hours, your game's going to blast off. Your jumpers now peer out to 25 feet, give or take. You've developed a little floater in the lane that leaves slow-footed big men flailing but it's your handle that sets you apart, your quicks, the way you can get into the paint at will and finish with either hand. This past season, you scored more points than any other eighth grader in the county. You were second in assists. So what? It ain't good enough and you know it. Not if you want to be even more dominant next year in high school that's why your ears perk up when you overhear a couple newcomers talking about Muni Gym in Balboa Park. When you overhear the dude with love handles sitting on the stairs say to his boy, it's the best run in the entire city, B. I put that on everything. You ranked him out, the other guy asks. Nah, I used to ball there all the time before I tweaked my back. If you can hang with them big boys at Muni, Shoot, you can hang with just about anybody. Shelf the extra jumpers that night. Proceed instead to the local library and look up Muni Gym online. 
Type the address into Google Earth and you'll discover it's right next to the Air and Space Museum. Your moms took you and your sis to back in the day. And the Air and Space Museum, if your calculations are correct, isn't but five miles from your pop's job at the factory. Wander into your cramped living room after dinner that night, work up the guts to describe for your old man the importance of competing against the best. You've outgrown your local run. It's time to put a foot in the deep end. So what if he doesn't even know the rules of the game, if all he does is sit there silently inside the TV, working a toothpick in his teeth? So what do you think, Pop? About what? Would it be cool if I went, you, went with you to work every morning so I could play some ball down there? He'll look at you suspiciously, then turn back to his cop show and his toothpick. You'll take this as a no and assume the fate of the most important summer of your hoop development now rests in the hands of the county bus system. But you'll be wrong. A few minutes later, he'll mumble, better have your skinny butt out by the car by five. I'll tell you that or else I'm leaving without you. He won't even look up when he mum when he tells you this. Doesn't matter. Your heart will race with excitement. You'll tear into the room you share with your sis and lay your hoop gear out on the chair by your bed like some kind of giddy schoolgirl, which is pretty much how you'll feel. And this has been a preview of flying lessons and other stories.